Hey everybody, Brock Frady here, helping you enjoy your ride. It's another beautiful Carolina Blue Sky Day, and I'm gonna bring to you today a 2017 Lexus ES350. We're gonna go over the interior features, the exterior features. We're gonna look under the hood, open the trunk, get a feel for what the vehicle is like from behind the driver's seat. We're gonna go over the key fob, all kinds of stuff. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoy the 2017 Lexus ES350. This one, ooh. Okay, that was a big, okay, it's about to rain. It has a 3.5 liter V6 with 270 horsepower. The fuel economy is 21 in the city, 31 on the highway, and that gives you a combined fuel economy of 24 miles per gallon. That's gonna be your average. It does use regular gas, and you have a smart access keyless operation. So the way this works is with this key fob on your person, all you do is approach the vehicle, and let's say this is in my pocket, and I can just open the door here. I can lock the door with that little dimple right there. So all I need to do is touch the dimple, the doors lock, and then to unlock it, all I do is grab the door handle and it unlocks. This 2017 Lexus ES350 is covered on the outside with a paint called Silver Lining Metallic. It's really pretty. The, the three most popular colors that we make are silver, white, and black. The wheels are 17 inch split, 10 spoke machine finished wheels. And believe it or not, that is only a $40 option. That's crazy. On the window sticker, it says that the option for the wheels is 40 bucks right there near the top. It also has blind spot monitor, LED front headlights, and all of the lights up front, in fact, are LED. The main headlights, the daytime running lights, even the fog lights, all of them are LED. The only bulb that is not LED is that little turn signal light on the outside, and that is a halogen bulb. And when all of the headlights are on, it makes it so that the peripheral vision, like while you're driving at night and from behind the wheel, I wanna give you kind of a perspective of that because it's, it's absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna stand right here by the mirror. And when you're driving at night, of course your headlights are gonna be, you're gonna see them all over here. Because these are all LED lights, it's almost like there's a straight line like that goes like that 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 is is a light it's it's really a, a interesting sight to see because they're they're just so bright and one of the things that i have heard people say is that yeah they're almost too bright for people in oncoming traffic well lexus has done something about that there is a little triangle right there on the dash and that does a couple of things. That's a, uh, a camera and it can actually see when you have people coming in oncoming traffic and it activates something called intelligent high beams. And the headlights can actually tell when there is someone in opposing traffic and it will automatically dim the bright headlights. It also can sense when you're behind somebody with your brights on and it will automatically dim the headlights if you're behind somebody as well. That's intelligent high beams. Check out the beautiful tail lights. And those are also really bright at night as well. And you can see them really far behind they're also LED. It's pretty neat how they wrap around the fender there. Pretty, uh, almost halfway up to that, up the fender. Really distinctive look. The ES350 is by far the best selling sedan that Lexus makes. 
it always has been and as of right now it, it looks like it always will be because it's so much bang for the buck let's take a look at the window sticker this may be a time where you want to uh, pause the video and take a look at all the features on the left it says standard features And then on the right, you can see it says that's the optional equipment on it. So in the top right of the frame right now, it says 38,900. And then below that, you've got all this equipment. Those are all the optional features on this specific vehicle. And after your delivery fee, Lex, charged by Lexus, the grand total MSRP is 45,814. Now, there's a, another feature here that it, we've never seen on them, and it's called Scout GPS Link. That is new for 2017. This particular uh, vehicle actually does not have it. I know it says it on the window sticker, but the navigation system on this one overrides that. What Scout GPS Link is, is it's a feature that will allow you to use an application from your cell phone called Scout GPS and that will allow you to have the navigation from your phone um, it, it will be displayed on the the display in the vehicle the audio display so on a vehicle that is not equipped with navigation from the factory as long as you download the application on your phone you can actually basically stream navigation from your phone into the car pretty nifty let's take a look at the trunk and how the trunk works because there is a little rubber pad in the trunk area and just on the right side under here you can push the button and you don't have to hold it you can just push it in and let it go and there's your power trunk and so you have a little button here and that's how you close it let's take a look at the trunk That is a really big trunk. There's a colored panel right there and that is the trunk pass through. You can open that and carry long items or you can reach back into the trunk from the back seat if your rear passengers needed to access the trunk from inside. There are four sensors on the bumpers. There's a little circle down there and that is called park assist. There's four sensors on the front bumper, four on the back, and that's what beeps if you get too close to something. Notice also, let's come around the front here, the spindle grill. This grill has become synonymous with Lexus it appeared first in 2013 on the GS350, and now it is on every vehicle in our lineup. And this grill was made even a little more aggressive for the 2016 ES350. There haven't been any changes for the 2017 model, but there it is. I actually love it. I think it's beautiful, and it's just a part of the Lexus brand. The suspension system is four-wheel independent McPherson strut type suspension with gas pressurized shock absorbers. It has front and rear stabilizer bars and as I mentioned before these are 17 inch wheels and they uh, this particular one is sitting on uh, Michelin P215-55 17 tires and these are the Michelin Primacy MX V4. These are excellent, excellent tires. They're extremely quiet. The same tires I have on my car. And you see the, the disc right there, your front disc brakes. Well, something I want to point out is look along the top of that disc right there. And there is a groove in the middle. You see that groove right there? And it, that is what is called a ventilated disc. 
that groove is hollow, there's actually holes there that run down the middle uh, or the center of that disc and it's for cooling. It actually keeps your brakes a little cooler. Ventilated means that they kind of breathe. They're vented and they're ventilated in the, in the front and in the back. Anti-lock brakes, of course. It has a feature called brake assist. Um, vehicle stability control, traction control. Let's take a look under the hood. And looking under the hood, there the the latch for the hood. You can kind of orient yourself to look at the Lexus emblem. You just push it up, and the shocks under the hood will hold it up. It is a 3.5 liter V6. It has 270 horsepower. It uses zero W20 oil and that is fully synthetic. So you change the oil every 10,000 miles. It has a six speed sequential shift transmission and sequential shifting means that you can actually change gears without a clutch manually all right that's enough under the hood and outside let's hop inside and take a look at the interior features the interior color is called parchment and it's a beautiful interior. I love how this interior looks with the silver on the outside. It's so classy looking. The seat was redesigned for 2016. It carries over for the 2017 model and it's the most comfortable seat in the ES350 we've ever had. You can see all the different panels that support you. You can see there's plenty of bolstering on the side to keep you snug but it's not too snug to where you feel closed in. The bolsters come up nice and high on the, on the seat bottoms. And then you've got power functions there for your driver's seat. On the far right, you're gonna see lumbar support. And these seats are heated and ventilated. The dash is absolutely gorgeous. Everything on the inside of this vehicle that looks like wood is real wood. There's no plastic resin that represents wood. It's all real. And as I said, this has the navigation system. You can see that, that there's a, your armrest right there and it looks like a mouse. That's your nav. The icons that are down here, you can see that on the left, on the far left, that's your intelligent high beams that I talked about before. In the middle is park assist, the sensors that beep in your bumpers. And also BSM is blind spot monitor. And then further down here is your hood release, your trunk, and your gas tank. Gas tank is all is on the left. And it, the steering wheel is super elegant looking. You can see it's a three spoke design with the satin finish there and the, with the chrome satin finish, the leather on the bottom and on the far right and far left, the stitching there in the leather. It's just, it's a work of art. And again, all of that is, is real wood. There is an option for a heated steering wheel. And if it does have the heated steering wheel, then it's gonna be the portion on the left and right that is the, uh, the leather. Then on the left side of the steering wheel is basically audio controls, voice commands, and Bluetooth. Then on the right side of the steering wheel, there's a couple of safety features there at the bottom, and that's gonna be lane keep assist on the left and um, your radar cruise control setting on the right. That's the distance setting for radar cruise control. Then moving up that multi-directional keypad is gonna uh, coincide with information that is on that center display that you see right there between the tachometer and the speedometer. That's gonna control a lot of information. And then on the top of that is a back arrow for when you're in that information screen. And then that pages icon there is, is just a information display. What good review would be complete without a horn beep?
you can see the control for the power tilt and telescope steering wheel is here on the left so you down up and then you pull it toward you and you can push it away from you now what you're going to want to do is get that set in the exact right position that's custom for you you're going to want to set your seat to where you're nice and comfortable and then you'll set your mirrors so that you can see really well and then you'll see one two three and set right there on the door and whenever you have all those three things set you'll press set and then one and that just memorized the seat the steering wheel and the mirrors for my custom setting on the left are your turn signals fog lights and headlights and this is where you're going to engage the high beams so you'll push that stalk forward and leave it locked forward and then you'll press auto in the little panel here and now high beams are activated so now you can put this in auto so put that in auto click it forward push auto here in this panel and now intelligent high beams are active your high beams will come on automatically and they will dim when you're around other cars. You can press this stalk up, it's just a single press and you'll let it come back down without fully engaging it. And that's a three blink lane change signal. So that you don't have to fully engage the turn signal and you can change lanes without risking leaving your signal on for miles down the road there is your the headlight icon parking light auto DRL off and so that is headlights on all the time manually parking lights headlights on automatically when the Sun goes down DRL off is daytime running lights off and then fog lights you can see where it says mist off auto low high off is the default and so it's off now you can push it up once for mist and it'll come back down so I'm gonna push it up and that's a mist wipe and then I can pull it down this is how I keep mine set I actually pull it down and keep it clicked down and it'll wipe again to let me know it's active but that's rain sensing wipers so now the it says auto and so the wipers will cut on automatically when it starts to rain and they'll wipe in accordance to the rain pattern and you can actually change that sensitivity on this ring inside the stalk. So you can go here and that will control the sensitivity of the automatic rain sensing wipers. And then there's low and high and that's manually controlling them. You pull it down as, it's, as the rain increases. Then I can pull the stalk toward me and it will wash off the windshield. Cruise control. And this one has the radar cruise control and that is indicated by the little icon right there what you're going to do is press the end of the stalk and uh, it says radar ready on the dash now let's take a look at that you can see there's radar ready so that means the radar cruise control is ready to help you and when I get up to my cruising speed uh, the, the cruise is not actually active right now it is on but not active the difference when you're cruising and you get up to say 65 miles an hour and you want to you want to go ahead and set your cruise you press down and it says set so that that takes over now what I meant by on and not active the cruise control is not active right now but it's on you see the little green icon on the dash right there that means the cruise control is ready to be used that it's on when it's active you'll see the radar cruise control icon pop up there in the middle of the dash knowing that it's actually knowing that it's actually working to keep you at your set speed I can speed up by nudging it up that will increase it by one mile per hour as I do that I can slow down by doing this and then I can pull it toward me you see on the top of that stalk it says cancel I can pull it toward me and that will cancel the cruise control now the radar uh, the cruise control is still on not active if you pull it toward cancel because that icon is still on the on the dash the only way to make that icon go away and thus cut the cruise control off completely beep, and now cruise control icon is gone in the center here you've got a beautiful layout for the center console with that real wood a really comfortable armrest 
with the beautiful stitching there and I, I just love the luxury aspect of, of how these cars are see that again that is that is real wood and then just the satin aluminum trim there on the gear shifter nice now looking at the center console here I've got my gear shifter and again it's a six-speed sequential shift transmission and sequential shift means that when when I'm driving this is going to be my driving position is is drive you can see D is in blue so I'm just riding down the road everything's great at any speed I can take this and shift it over and now S is engaged you can see that's blue and then on my dash it says S and it says 4 well, four means that, and I just shifted it up, and it's that, that's the six speed. That's the gear I'm, I'm going to be in. So I can come down all the way to first. Now, the way I was making those numbers change is here. That's upshift. So it says three, four, five, six. And this is downshift. Five, four, three, two, one. Sequential. And then that's regular drive. You're going to drive it in, in regular drive almost 100% of the time. But that's just... In case, like at a cocktail party, you can tell your friends that your car has sequential shifting. When you put it in reverse, the beautiful backup camera comes on, and that is an active display. Active means that when you turn the wheel, the yellow part, you see the yellow part moving? Those are dynamic active lines, and then the blue lines there on the display are fixed. And so that, when you use this feature properly, you can actually park this thing more straight backwards than you can forward. It's excellent. And then you have your nav system here, and it's a mouse-operated system. You can see how that moves. Your, your audio system is in the silver, and then your climate control system is in the black portion. And you have your heated and ventilated front seat controls here. And I can just take this and turn it to the left and the ventilated seat is coming on right now. I can feel the cool air coming up through the seat bottom. And this is the control for the rear power sunshade. So I can push that and I can see the shade go up. You see the shade in the back glass? Just went up. And this is called selectable drive modes, eco, normal, and sport. And you can control something called throttle mapping uh, with that and that will allow you to be able to save gas when it's an eco if you turn it right to sport it makes it more fun to drive changing the shift points it'll also stiffen the steering the steering uh, stiffens up a little bit um, whenever it's in sport that's a really fantastic feature I did want to give you just an overall view and preview of the 2017 Lexus ES350 beautiful beautiful vehicle Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I surely appreciate your time. I value your time. I also value your subscription. If you think this video was valuable, and if you would like more content delivered to you fresh off the press after I make it, then slam down that subscribe button, and I would love to help you enjoy your ride. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks for watching.